Hello, my name is Peter Parfit and welcome to the New Bit Workshop. Now, I've had a number of people ask me questions about the path guide system and a, a lot of people have asked me about different types of tracks or cutting station. Uh, and uh, also, I've had people asking me, well, if I build my own tracks or cutting station, what other bits and pieces do I need to really fully exploit it? So in this video, I'm going to give you a very simple guide to what a track saw cutting station is, what the path guide system is, and what bits and pieces would make sense to get if you're going to uh, use your own track saw cutting station. And you'll recall in the opening shot, I trimmed this piece of plywood here using my track saw cutting station. This is the, the cut here, and I'm now going to uh, demonstrate the accuracy of uh, the track saw cutting station created with the path guide system. So I've brought you in nice and close and I've got my engineer's square here and I've just done that cut and I hope you can see that that is absolutely spot on. So that's the whole idea. We're producing a system that gives you the ability to make perfectly square cuts. Now if I start at the very beginning, I need to explain what a track saw is and what a track is. This is a track saw, this is made by Festool, it's the TS55. Uh, there are lots of track saws made by other companies. And this is a, a guide rail or a track. And the idea is that the track saw will run along a track and it won't be able to go left or right or skew in any way because it's running on the track. So that is a track saw and that's the track. And this saw will make absolutely super duper cuts and all you need to do is to make sure the track is put in the right place so that you get nice square cuts. And it's square cuts we're going to talk about. Next I need to explain what a track saw cutting station is. Basically it's something on which you use your track saw. Now if you imagine your track saw cutting station has rows of holes and columns of holes and the rows and the columns are at perfect right angles. Well what you can do is you can take a tall bench dog and this is one type of bench dog, this is a path super dog and you can put one at one end and there's one already at the other end and that will allow you to put your track up against there. And then along the row, you can put smaller bench dogs. So we've got the tall dogs there. And if you were then to put uh, some shorter dogs here, you can push your piece of wood up against here, put your track against the tall dogs, and then make a cut. And provided the rows and the columns are at perfect right angles, you'll then get a really perfect right angle cut which is what I demonstrated at the very beginning. So the key thing is, is being able to create a track saw cutting station that is really, really accurate. And that's where the path guide system comes in. Now I'm not gonna teach you how to use it. I'm not gonna describe it in absolute detail. I'm just gonna to say to you that there are loads of videos that I've made and I'll put some of the links in the description of this video which tell you how to go about making a track saw cutting station. Now when you buy the path guide system, these are the bits of kit that you get in the package. You get a pair of rulers and these rulers are very special uh, because they have a row of six millimeter holes at 96 millimeter centers and there are 11 holes and there are a pair of those rulers there's a three millimeter drill which is held in this special drill holder and that's got a Centrotec end you can put it in any drill but if you've got Centrotec then that is perfect there are a pair of three millimeter drill guides uh, one uh, which has a shallow boss here which goes through one ruler and another one which has a, a longer boss here and that will go through two of the six millimeter holes uh, in a pair of rulers which overlap. There are three of these three millimeter pins. There's a, a joining piece to join two of the uh, rulers together. Uh, by, this goes through a pair of holes, one in each ruler and that will hold the two in unison. There are a pair of small 
bench dogs which are used in the drilling process for the 20 millimeter holes. And probably the most important part of the kit is the 20 millimeter drill guide together with the 20 millimeter drill. Now this drill has been designed specially by Axminster and it is only for use with the path guide system. And in order to stop this falling out from the guide there is a little collar which fits on here and you can tighten that up so it won't uh, fall out uh, when you're uh, moving from one process to another. Now all you need to create your tracks or cutting station is the path guide system of course, a drill and this is the drill I've used to do all of the holes, everything on this track saw cutting station. In fact, I've used this drill for the majority of the track saw cutting stations that I've produced, and I've produced a lot. And you also need a pair of clamps. Now, it is important to have uh, some form of dust extraction uh, when you're doing the drilling of the 20 millimeter holes, particularly if you're drilling into MDF because you get a lot of fine dust and you need to get rid of that in order to allow the drilling process to work efficiently. And if you haven't got dust extraction, then there is a risk that your holes will not be drilled quite as accurately. So that's the only extra. Now, I know this is not a blank top, but in simple terms, the way you use the path guide system is uh, that you start by clamping one ruler along an edge and you choose the distance of how far away. And using one of the three millimeter drill guides, uh, you then go along here and you drill three millimeter holes uh, through the holes numbered naught uh, to 10 uh, on this ruler. That gives you a row of holes there. You can then move this ruler. So it's got hole zero here and you would put a pin through hole zero into one of the holes you just drilled. Then you put the second uh, ruler uh, with its end hole, hole zero, with a pin through what would be the sixth hole along there. And then you overlap these two rulers and using one of the drill guides with the longer boss, you go through both rulers and drill a three millimeter hole there. Now the rationale for this is that you have six, eight, and 10, which gives a right angle there. A six, eight, 10, three, four, five. We know from Pythagoras that the triangle made up with those units will give a right angle there. So that then allows you to drill all the holes along here. And you've then got one row of holes there and a row of holes here and they're right angles to each other. And so you then repeat this process until, until you have the number of three millimeter holes that you need for your design of your track saw cutting station. Now, once you've got your pattern of three millimeter holes where you want eventually to have 20 millimeter holes, uh, you then take the 20 millimeter drill guide, the special 20 millimeter drill, and you also take a pair of pins. And basically what you do is you say, right, um, I've got a three millimeter hole here, uh, and I want that to be a 20 millimeter hole. So the point of the special drill is made to just line up uh, there, just poking into that hole a little bit. And then you'll find that you can stick a pair of pins, one there and one there, and that will hold that guide block absolutely firmly in place. I cannot move that now. And the reason is it's got three points which define where it should be. You've got, first of all, the point of the drill, which is just sticking into the three millimeter hole. And you've got the two three millimeter pins that go through this block and then into the three millimeter holes in your worktop. And that holds that absolutely rock solid. And with that, you can then connect your dust extractor, start it, and then connect your drill and drill the hole. And you then move this around until you've got all the holes that you need. Do uh, follow the links to the videos that I put in the description if you want to see the detail of how to make a track saw cutting station. So you've created your fantastic track saw cutting station which is going to give you the ability to cut really accurate uh, 90 degree and 45 degree uh, cuts. Of course you need a track saw and a guide rail that it will run on 
No, I've got the Festool TS55. I've had it for years and uh, <laughs> touch wood, it's never gone wrong. It's a fantastic bit of kit. Anyway, there are others available. Now you do need uh, some dogs. Now, first of all, of course, you need the tall dogs, one at this end, one at that end, which your guide rail goes against. Now, my preference uh, is uh, the PATH Super Dogs. And the reason that I prefer these is that they can be put in place and they are rock solid once you tighten them up like that. So they're always going to be nice and vertical, which is absolutely essential if you're trying to do right angle cuts really accurately. Alternatively, you could go back to the original path dogs which I uh, invented many years ago. These are made by Lee Valley under their prestigious Veritas label uh, and these would uh, fit in the holes quite simply and they've got this wide boss on them. Now if you use these you do need the associated smaller path dogs uh, to go with them with a the similar wide boss. But since the creation of the path super dog this is what I really prefer. So you have one of those at either end. Now the next you need something along here. Now you need a, a low profile dog of some description and uh, I would recommend when you first start out because it's less expensive to get something like these guide pups. They're a path product sold by Axminster and available from other outlets that stock Axminster kit. And these will give you the ability to use your track saw cutting station until you decide about perhaps something a little more sophisticated. And when I say you might want something a little more sophisticated as your uh, sort of uh, fence, if you like, uh, against which you push your stock, then you could have something perhaps like this, uh, which uh, just fits on and gets uh, located uh, using some pair of dogs, one there and one there. And that gives you the ability to push your stock against this fence uh, when you make a cut. Or you can go for something like this, which I use on my Ultimate Track Saw cutting station. And this is absolutely superb, uh, but it is more expensive. And I've made a video about the different fences, and I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. But this is my preferred solution. It's absolutely brilliant. Now I appreciate that buying a path guide system may be a big investment for you and you could perhaps share it between two friends uh, and split the cost if you wish to. But uh, remember that it's not going to just be used to create one track saw cutting station. These things do wear out. You, you get multiple saw marks, you spill paint on it. Um, if you're a professional you might leave it at a building site and it gets wet overnight. Who knows? So with the path guide system, you can produce as many Traxel cutting stations as you need. And I've used my original path guide system and all of the original components now to create, uh, I, I'm at, at a bit of a loss, but I, I would think about 30 Traxel cutting stations. I've made a lot for other people, uh, friends, I'm a, I don't do it commercially, uh, and I've made several for myself. So uh, the, the kit will last really a lifetime. So it's a good investment. And don't forget the accuracy of the system. I've had people report to me that they have done the four cut or five cut test and had results that give them an accuracy to within 0 0.001 of a degree. So if you're building kitchen cabinets or anything really important, this is the kit to get. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, intro to the system and uh, what you might get to go with it. Many thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.